Guys and gals, AWS has made some changes to the Solution Architect Associate Exam and we need to talk about it. Clutch your pearls right now. Don't worry, it's not as bad as you thought. What's good cloud gang, it's your boy Joshua Tech Dev Walker, your venti fried chicken author and global cloud slinger. Check in the description how I went from veteran to at one point homeless to tech lead. And subscribe if you're into cloud, tech, or creativity. So with all the advice I gave these past years on the Solution Architect Associate, I said I had to put this video out right away. And I'm not gonna front, AWS kind of caught me slipping because this update happened in August. In a nutshell, the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam has been updated. So I wanna just take a few minutes and this will probably be a shorter video to thumb through all of the changes that were made. The good thing is it's not as bad as you think or probably as bad as I thought. And just some background, AWS, you know, periodically, probably every two years or so, updates the exam to make sure that they're keeping up with you know market knowledge and making sure everyone is still valid with the technologies that represent the clients that they support the good thing for this exam for the aws associate exam is that they reported that is 90 percent the same really the only task statement that they have added in domain three is around designing high performance architectures and the only true new task statement is task statement five which is all around data ingestion and transformation solutions and as someone that works primarily in life sciences and healthcare with sensitive data this is a great addition to this exam to be honest i want to share a quick quote from you know the article from aws just so you can see kind of where they're coming from companies have a massive amount of data that we need to interact with transform and load into scalable systems you damn right distributed systems are more important especially with the rise of containerization hell yeah to work in that environment it's important to understand how aws tools and other components work together word so in a nutshell you know the associate exam solution to architect associate exam has always been really a really baseline certification that helps a lot of people get started so they wanted to make sure it was more holistic about the ecosystem all around being a solution architect but also making sure that data component is definitely like just embedded in us so my advice on this diff if you were just preparing based off of the old exam is to make sure that you're hitting up you know those faqs based on those two topics making sure that you're looking at the updated exam outline and making sure that you're getting hands-on with those core data services, including S3, Kinesis, Glue, DataSync, the database migration service, just to name a few. And that may sound daunting, but for the most part, with this being an associate level exam, you just need to make sure that you know what these things are and what they do. And a big honorable mention, the Solution Architect Professional exam is also scheduled to get an update in the middle of November, November 15th to be specific. So if you're studying for that and you feel ready, go ahead and book that exam and get it out of the way before November 15th. As always, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if doing more videos around like AWS news or just cloud news, Azure GCP news in general is helpful. Like and subscribe for more cloud tech and creative content. As you can see, I'm posting a video every single week again. Cloud.